Well, I'm looking at if you say have lots of devices on a shared cooling, so say on a heat sink or on a piece of uh, metal board, uh, if you just consider each device in isolation, when one dissipates energy, it might get so hot if you predict it. But if you've got multiple devices all together, they'll get much hotter than you'd expect from a very simple analysis. So the question becomes, how do you predict what the temperature of each device is going to be in real time from power dissipation in all other devices? Uh, that would be a simple model might be to say, look, we'll have an equivalent circuit of resistors and capacitors. But that's a very uh, sort of a basic method. It requires you to really analyze your circuit first. Um, you know, time consuming, expensive in terms of manpower process. So if you can just measure the, uh, the relationship between heating and, and uh, temperature between all devices, just the purely measurement basis, no intelligence at all, and then predict from that directly, then you're saving yourself a lot of uh, manpower time while getting very accurate results. And that's what we can actually do. We can get in the region of 2% error um, on a practical system, uh, regardless of what's happening in your ambient conditions. So it's very, very positive. It's something that came to me, and then when I tried it, I was amazed at just how close the, the results were. It's actually quite difficult to show in graphs the error, because they're almost on top of each other. 